George Frazier is one of the most sought after speakers in the world when it comes to the art of networking. He says adopting some intentional habits when planning for your future will make all the difference. He joins us live this morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Good morning. Hey, it's an honor. Good to have you and uh, good to be had. <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Thank you, Robert. It's a pleasure love, to love. talk to you. Can you tell us right. how this whole um, networking speaking started for you? You're in, it's, your, your childhood is very inspiring how you got to where you are. Um, yeah. yeah uh, it, it was something that um, evolved over time. I, I didn't, as a small child growing up in orphanages and foster care, it was not my dream uh, to be a keynote speaker and to write books on the subject of networking. It just evolved and happened over time as I noticed things in my own life as I was growing up that the people around me made the, the, you know, the very critical difference in my life. And so I decided I wanted to commit my life to helping people understand the power and importance of the relationships in our lives, the power and importance of networking, mm. because you're the average of the five people that you spend the most time with, right? The fastest way to change yourself is to hang out with people who are already where you want to be. And uh, what am I really saying? I'm, I'm saying don't spend major time with minor people. People going nowhere want you to go nowhere with them. Yeah. People doing nothing want you to do nothing with them. If you want to change your life, change your relationships. In fact, if you are not where you want to be in life, it is because you don't have the right people in your life. You cannot get through life alone. This is biblical. Dr. Fraser did not make this up. Uh, John 5.30, a direct quote from Jesus Christ. Uh, I of my own self can do nothing. So this was the son of God. He couldn't get it done on his own by himself in a vacuum. And there is no success that you can attain, sustain, or maintain on your own by yourself in a vacuum. Except we make a lot of mistakes when we, when we, when we think we're networking, but we're really turning people off. Well, let's take a look in that circle of relationships. You say, don't be the smartest person in your network. Uh, why not? Well. There are three kinds of networks you're going to have to work on through all passages of your life. You get about eight passages. Each passage is about 10 years. <clears throat> There's your personal network. These are the people that cheer you on, lift you up, uh, love you. Let's call that your network at home. Uh, things are not right at home. They're probably not going to be right in other places in your life. There is your operational network. These are the people that help you to get specific tasks done uh, as you help them to get specific tasks done, whether it's the place in which you work or in the business in which you own. Um, and these people platoon in and out of your life. There are very few people uh, who will remain throughout your entire life. So people are platooning. This is your operational network. You're helping people get strong and doing things things, they're helping you get strong, and you do things. And then finally is your strategic network. These are the people who are smarter than you. These are the people who are where you want to be in life. These are the people that will drag you into the 21st century kicking, screaming, and crying. So you don't want to be the smartest person in your network, but how are you going to grow? You need people in your network that will reach down and lift up and help you to grow as you will reach down and lift up and to help other people grow. You don't want to be the smartest person in your network. If, in fact, you are, you're in the wrong darn network. Mm. They also say you should rise to the level of your goals, and you also say if you want to get invited to the table, bring something to the table, mm -hmm. yes? Amen. That's right. You, you see, you don't rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your system. Everything is a system. Even networking is a system. And so we have to habitualize whatever this system is. So I have been effectively networking for about 40 years. I've written six best-selling books on the subject. We put on a conference every year called the Power Networking Conference. It's our 20th anniversary. And these are the things that we teach. Uh, at the conference is how to develop a system to cultivate, nurture, and to build relationships mm. at work, at home, and in the community. I have a system, and I've habitualized this system. My system is simple. You can use this system, or you can use your own system. But every single day now, I have 1.1 million people in my network. So if you have a smaller network, you don't have to 
do it exactly like this, but it's very it's a very simple system. Yeah. Every single day, 365 days a year, I write five notes a day to people in my network. Every single day, 365 days a year, I make five phone calls every day to old friends and family. Uh, the third thing I do is I, and, uh, I, I make five personal contacts a day to new friends that I acquire in my network. Every single day, I make five sales calls a day to people who I sell something to, but the last thing I want them to think about Dr. Fraser is that the only time that they'll hear from me is when I'm trying to sell them something. So I'm really just checking in on them right. and see if I can add any value to their life. And the fifth thing that I do every single day and this is the big one. This is the most important one. I make five introductions to people who need to know each other every single day. That one thing alone has provided me the greatest rewards of my life. Wow. So those are the five fives. All now, right. the sixth one is spend at least an hour to two hours a day on social media because huh. that's where all the action is. Yeah. Exactly. But well, Doctor, we're going to cut it at six uh, tips. <laughs> we'll buy the book time. for the rest. Don't give it all away. That's my tip to you. Don't right. give it all away. <laughs> well, the Power Network, the, there's the information on your screen if you want to go to that conference August 11th through the 14th. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank Enjoyed you. Enjoyed it.